Hello Baylor family, my name is Brinshavia Jordan. I'm from Fort Worth, Texas. I am a senior journalism major with a minor in entrepreneurship, but I'm not your traditional Baylor student. <laughs> I am also a mother and here are my babies. Come on y'all, come on, come this way. These are my babies, Aaliyah Hi. and Josiah. So these Hi. are, <laughs> say, ah, sick of me. Okay, so right now I'm doing my makeup and then I'm trying to be done with my makeup by 6.40. It's 6.32 right now. So I wanna be done by 6.40, that way I can go wake up the kids and get them started. Okay guys, so I literally have just made it to campus. I made it to campus right at eight o'clock and my class starts at eight o'clock. So I am headed into the business building here on campus to get my personal finance class started. I enjoy this class a lot. And a lot of the classes at Baylor I love a lot, not just because of the classes itself, but because of the professors. I really love that the professors here actually care, you know, and especially in the age of COVID, you know, they're willing to do Zoom calls. They're willing to do whatever they need to help you be successful. Okay, so right now I'm sitting in my car. Sometimes in between classes, I'll come sit in my car. I'll talk to my husband. My husband is definitely my number one supporter on this college journey. If it was not for him, I would not be able to do this. There may be some days where classes are a little bit frustrating. I'm getting ready to take a quiz and I don't think I've studied enough or whatever the case may be. He's always there to just encourage me and to push me and to just let me know like, baby, you got this. So I just finished eating lunch at Penland and I wanted to show you, do you see that scripture up there? I love that anywhere that you want to go on campus, there's scripture. So this one says, so whether you eat or drink or whatever you do, do it all for the glory of God. Love it. Okay, so I am just sitting here on campus and I wanted to share a little bit about my journey that led me here to Baylor. So I am a non-traditional student like I've shared before. When I graduated high school, I had my son. And after I had my son, I just worked and didn't really do anything with school, really didn't even have a desire to go to college. Um, and then I got married and once I had my daughter, I really had a desire to just go to college and just do it and kind of make a career, you know? And so I went to community college. I ended up graduating with my associate's degree and then I applied for Baylor. And I remember when I first started college, I was so discouraged. I'm like, it's too late, you know? I'm a lot older than my peers, but it's never too late. And God has continued to show me that since I've been at Baylor. Hello. Okay, so I am in the Castle Law Communication Center where I spent a lot of time as a journalism student. And now I'm gonna take you into the newsroom. Let's go. So the newsroom is where I spent a lot of time as well because not only am I a journalism student, but I am also one of the reporters here for Larry TV News. So in this room, I spend time writing scripts, I edit videos, um, and I do a lot of things here even for other classes. So I'm gonna show you that room now. So this is the Lariat Newsroom. As you can see behind me, there's the logo. And these are all the computer where we make all the magic happen for the newspaper and for Lariat Online. Okay, so I just got out of class and I'm actually headed to my car so I can head to the grocery store before it's time to pick up my kids. But before I do that, I just wanna share a little bit about why I chose Baylor. Um, I chose Baylor for one because when I first came to this campus, you can feel the love, you can feel the genuine care from the faculty, staff, and students. That's one of the reasons why I chose Baylor. Um, another thing is because I had people who really cared about me. As a transfer, there were organizations in place that helped make my transition smooth, and I truly enjoy that. Okay. So I have I just made it to my daughter's school, and I'm about to pick her up, so just watch this. There she goes. Hey, honey. <laughs> you have a good day? Okay, so we picked up Aaliyah and we picked up Josiah. And so we are headed home. <laughs> okay, so I am trying to do homework and look who wants to be all on my stuff. Okay, so it is about nine o'clock at night. Everyone has eaten dinner. We did our family Bible study. I've washed dishes. I've got everybody's clothes ready for school tomorrow. And then we'll start all over again tomorrow and do the same thing. So I have made it to the end of the vlog and I truly pray that whoever watches this video, whoever sees my story, that you are encouraged and that you're inspired to know that it's never too late. There is nothing that you cannot overcome. And as a wife and as a mom and as a student and the founder of a women's organization, 
organization and a worship leader at church wearing many, many hats. It's by the grace of God and his faithfulness and his grace that I am able to do all of these things. And I want to let you know there is nothing that you can accomplish and there's nothing that you cannot conquer. I am so grateful that you guys have watched my story and I pray that you are all blessed. Thank you so much. Thank you.